totally the opposite today. Thoughts on the performance? Yeah, we suffered. We suffered a lot in the first half. Um, the start, obviously, with the atmosphere like it was, made it even more difficult for us. A couple of unforced errors, which 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 gave us a problem. And credit to Brighton, they they uh, they played well. They they did what they did well. Um, we had some opportunities as well ourselves, but it was just one of those days where we weren't quite at the level that we need to be to win to win the game. Certainly here, so um, we're all responsible for that. Me included. Um, the boys have given everything in terms of over a period of seven weeks with with us. So it's a bad day, like you say, at the office when we have to dust ourselves down and, and go again with. Uh, you mentioned there a lot of football we played in October. I think it was 11 games. Do you think that played a part time as towards the end of the month? Well, I don't want to take anything away from from Brighton. It's it's it, it is what it is. We have to deal with that. We've got a squad, so there's no uh, there's no excuses. Um, we we weren't quite like I said at the start of the game ready for the ready for the challenge, and, uh, and Brighton did it well. Oh, we seem to have a few nearly moments in, mm. in the first half. Keith made a couple of good saves at two 0 yep. um, Did you see kind of progress in, in our attacking play? A bit of fluidity there. We, we had, I think, the touches in the box was pretty much equal in in terms of um, at, at half time. But clearly, the most important thing in terms of that final pass or that final execution, they they got a couple of OGs. I think it was. So it was just one of those things that we 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 had to suffer. We did. We. Um, we're disappointed with the result, of course, and, and the performance we can do a lot better with. Um, but uh, we have to dust ourselves down. Like I said, it, it's, a, it's a collective. We have to lose together. That's the way you can make progress. Uh, better second half. Were you pleased with uh, the way they responded in the second half? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, like I said, we, we, we had to win this. You know, we had to try and win the second half. We, we, we pushed and pushed and probably left us open for the fourth one. But. Um, the boys, the boys gave everything, but it, but at the same time we, we we couldn't match their intensity, and that's the challenge for us. That was a challenge. The injury to Keppel was uh, was that anything serious, or are you waiting for that? I'm just waiting. I mean, it's just his foot, I think. So he just felt something there, so I have to see. And final one, personally, it's been a strange week for you. I can imagine. Are you just glad now it's over? You can kind of progress, process what what went on. Yeah, exactly. It's it's, it's it can be personal, of course. I'm I'm here to do a job, and today we're we're disappointed because we haven't performed as well as we'd like, and we've we've lost. So we have to deal with that and um, move forward for the next game. In a row, it looked like for whatever reason the, the opposing manager had the tactics right at the start, and you didn't, and then he, this time you were unable to to claw it back simply because you, yeah, they they punished you first half. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, especially if you see the game. Um, uh, as I said to the players, you know, when you lose, you have to you have to look at it, and if you've made a mistake or you've got things wrong, then you have to analyse it and, and do better. That's part of our job. That's part of the um, that's part of the process. And um, if if we you know if we've got that wrong, then I have to take responsibility for that, and we have to do better. I think um, I'd rather look at it from that perspective. Uh, uh, like I said earlier, I think you have to congratulate Brighton as well. They did what they did well. Um, we had some opportunities ourselves. The scoreline makes it feel a little bit um, probably worse than it is in terms of we had opportunities and we had touches in the box pretty similar to them. They have a couple of own goals. We have a couple of chances, but in the end, it felt probably a little bit too open for us. And that's again, that's my responsibility. Tom. Hi, Graham. Hi. Um, I know the result would have been disappointing for you, but I just wanted to know what it was like to be on the touchline and have to go across and coming back for the first time and from where we were standing reaction and the group of fans around that dugout, was that surprise to you and what was it like? No, like I said before the game, I didn't have any expectations. Um, I have nothing to say sorry for, I have nothing to apologise for, I, I, have, I did a good job. You can see the team's a good team, it took over when they were fourth from bottom in the, in the Premier League, third probably worst team. There's a lot of money being raised in terms of player sales and there's a lot of good players on the pitch. So I hope for their sake that the next managers do as, as good a job and, and that's brilliant for them. Adam. Hi Graham. Hi. Hi. What's the issue with Kepler and his attitude in relation to his manager? Uh, well, he felt his, it's like his foot, bottom his foot. So I need to, I don't know, it's too early yet. Obviously, we're, 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 he was too bad to, to carry on. Um, so it's disappointing for him because obviously he's in a really good moment. Um, no, we hadn't thought about it to be honest. It was just for full focus was on this game, but obviously, if he's if he's injured, then um, it gives many a chance. Jacob, um, Graham, you've been using Raheem Sterling and Christian Pulisic in the last week as, as wing backs. Went well on um, Tuesday against Wolfsburg. Do you think maybe it was a little bit of a risk to come up here and, uh, and, and use them there again? Do you think it was a build-up? Do you have the second half? 
yeah, it, the responsibility for them too wasn't to defend against their wing backs. But uh, but I understand uh, when whenever you do something and it doesn't work, you look a bit of a fool. So um, that's how it is. Um, I have to accept that and I have to deal with that and I have to I have to do better and I'll learn and and that's the part that's the process. Sam, that, um, Graham, that that sort of uh, tactical evolution. Are you looking for? What we would conventionally call a team, a, a shape of a team that you feel is your best team, or is it your your go-to team, or, or is it always going to change? Is that the way you're going to manage? No, as I've said before, it's not like it's not about change. You need to find a way to 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 win. You need to find a way to perform. We've had um, a lot of games in 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 uh, in October and an incredible schedule. So for different reasons, we've lost some key players in terms of Reese and Koulibaly and Fafana and Kante, and so there's there's a constant challenge in terms of uh, how to set up. We 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 um, we tried today, and and again it, it can be tactical and it can be just the intensity of the opponent did what they did better. Um, like I said, I I have to analyse the game and look at how we can improve. Okay, we'll do two more and then we'll do a Monday's nil and then there to finish. Uh, I know you weren't manager earlier in the season, but when Chelsea lost at Leeds 3-0, it, it was the same it was the same culture, if you like. Uh, a team playing with intensity, high tempo, blitzing Chelsea and scoring early on and, and really winning it early on. Is there an issue with teams against teams with high intensity and a blitzing attitude? Um, no, but of course it's a, it's the Premier League, so every, everywhere is difficult. I mean, they, they Brighton are a good side, I know that. Um, and with the crowd and the atmosphere that they created, they did they put you under pressure. We made a couple of, I think, unforced errors to start everything off a little bit, but that can, ha that can happen. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to throw the players under the bus at all because they've been brilliant for us. They've given everything for me. So I have to um, take responsibility and and try to find a way for, for us to, to do better. Like I said, we've had a think we've had you know uh, three wins in the Champions League to qualify, um, tough matches away, Brentford, Aston Villa. Um, so yeah, this is not to complain. That's just what we're up against, and we meet a really good opponent today. So they they did really well. Okay, last one then. Uh, I wouldn't say surprise. I think he sh should be congratulated. He's done a really good job. Um, as I said in the press conference, I, I can see the ideas. I can see what they're trying to do. Uh, I think they've been a little bit unlucky uh, in the in the games in terms of results, but the performances have been good. Um, and I think he's going to have an exciting time here. It's a really good club with some good players and players that suit how you.